What's up everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own timing tape. The reason I'm making this is because when I got my balancer, it didn't have any timing tape, it just had a TDC mark on it. So I'm going to show everybody in this video how you can make your own timing tape and make it perfect for your balancer. Mine is a custom balancer, or it's not custom, but it is not a normal size. My balancer is 6.1 inches and that's just different compared to most normal small block for balancers. So I'm gonna show you how to do the math to get timing marks on your balancer. So let's do the math and find out what each degree on the balancer is equal to in inches or in millimeters, but we'll do inches first. So my balancer is 6.1 inches in diameter. So you need to find out what the diameter of your balancer is to get started on this. So once you find out what the diameter is, mine's 6.1, we're gonna make that into a circumference. So circumference is two pi r, so two r is just the diameter. So you could just do diameter times pi, and for us, so 6.1 times pi for me is, so it's 19.163. So that's how many inches the circumference is. So here's my balancer. The diameter is 6.1. And so the circumference from there all the way around to there is this 19.163. So now it's super easy. So we know that there's 360 degrees on your balancer. So all you have to do is divide 360 into 19.163. So we're gonna do that. So 360 divide that's 0 0.05, so 0 0.053 of an inch is one degree on your balancer. So one degree equals 0 0.053 inches. And so you're not gonna measure 0 0.053 inches on your tape, so you do have to convert that over to fractions of a foot, which this is where it gets kind of annoying and it's just easier to do millimeters, but we're sticking with it. So let's just say we were gonna do five degrees. So we're gonna, so one degree is our 0 0.05, so we're just gonna take that number and times it by five. So then that is 0.26. So now we know five degrees equals 0.266 of an inch, which you can do that in your head and that's equal to a quarter inch. Plus, plus a little bit because it's 0.266, but 0.25 is a quarter inch. So you would have to do the math for each of those and make them all into a fraction. That's how you do it. And you can do the same thing with five degrees, 10 degrees. I mean, let's do one more with 10 degrees. So we're gonna use our one degree equals 0 0.053 inches. And then we're gonna times that by 10. So now our 10 degrees equals 0.5 three, two. And we can just see that that's close to it a half an inch, but it's a little bit more. So I did this math already. So that would be nine sixteenths of an inch. So this equals nine sixteenths of an inch is 10 degrees. So we would measure nine sixteenths over and that would be our 10 degree mark on our timing tape. But why go through this extra step and not be as accurate with our inches? Why don't we just use millimeters? So 6.1 inches is equal to 154.94 millimeters. So the same exact formula applies. All we gotta do is diameter times pi. So that's gonna give us our circumference. So let's do it. So the diameter, 154.94 times pi is 486.758. So this is equal to 486.758 millimeters. So that's our circumference. So we do the same thing, 360 divided into that. So 360 divide, so each degree in millimeters is equal to 1.352 millimeters. 
and that's probably too accurate. We'll never be able to measure millimeters like that. So now if we want to get our five degree mark, you know, you just times it by five. So enter five times. So 6.76 .6 millimeters is our um, five degree mark. So five degrees is equal to 6.76 .6 millimeters. I mean, and then you can just measure that right on your tape. And you I mean, just six and three quarters is close enough, but you just do the same exact thing and you make your tape. So now that we know the math, this is how I like to do it, is I get a piece of blue tape the blue tape sticks pretty good, like really good actually. And so what I do is like, let's say we are doing the um, five degree mark. All I would do is use my millimeter side and measure over 6.75 millimeters. So I'm just gonna guess, cause I'm not gonna get it that perfect. I don't think you can even time it that well. So five, six, and then just gonna tick over closer to the eight mark or the seven mark. And then boom, I have my five degree mark, and then I just do it for my 10 degree, 15, 20, or whatever I was gonna time the car to, and that would give me a good way to measure. So this mark right here, this is the mark you're going to line up on your balancer. This is gonna be on your TDC mark. So you wanna make sure this is perpendicular to the blue tape and make it as straight as possible. A speed square is very helpful with this. You just can line it up perfect and then make your mark. So then after you have this mark, you can measure over whatever degrees. Mine, the one I'm going to be using on my car is just a 20 degree mark right here. And I'm just gonna, you know, time, or I just measure over the distance and there's my 20 degrees. But that's how you do it and that's how you make timing tape. So I hope this video helped you with whatever timing tape problems you may have had. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll be coming out with more. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section and I will answer them. And thanks for watching. So I will catch you guys on the next video.